This is me trespassing on private property, risking my own life, all because of an app which gives you a random location anywhere in the world based on three different words. And well, I decided to ask strangers to give me three terms that I would then put into the app and whatever location they gave me, I would have to go there in a limited amount of time. If for any reason I don't end up completing this challenge, I will have to go to my local orphanage and set it on fire. No, but for real, if I don't end up doing this challenge, I will have to punish myself by eating three random items off the Arby's menu. And trust me, I would much rather get tased than eat anything off their menu. After I got done data farming, I decided to put the words on a wheel spinner so I could find out where I would be going. What is that? I spun the wheel multiple times, which led me to places outside the country. And well, since I'm on house arrest for aggravated assault, I'm not allowed to leave the United States. But little did I know that these up and coming spins would be the final ones to decide my fate. I guess we're going to Kansas? Like, th this is where we have to go. This is probably where the KKK was originated. Like, dude, I don't know what's happening back here. No matter the location, I woke up the next day and risked our lives by driving over nine hours to the middle of nowhere just so I don't have to eat whatever this is. But before we could arrive at the destination, I had to complete a series of challenges along the way that revolved around the three words. We're less than three hours away. We finally made it to Missouri, but we still have a handful of tasks to finish. What's the chances of a drunk driver hitting us right now? On our way to the destination, we decided to stop by Ikea in order to knock off one of our challenges by buying a piece of furniture. Sir, do you know where furniture is? Thank you, I appreciate that. Does a pillow count as furniture? I no, mm. there's a limited amount of time for me to go and plant this flag to the destination. I don't want to eat Arby's. While I was looking for something to steal, I decided to go up to an innocent person and force them to subscribe to me. Hey guys, sorry to bother you. I'm currently doing a challenge right now. I need somebody to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Fair enough. You probably like my content. I do a bunch of kid toy unboxing. Okay, subscribe to my There we go. MRH. Thank you very much. And better tune in next week because I'm doing a uh, Sam Pepper, I killed my friend prank. That's crazy. Tune in. What's like the least expensive piece of furniture? Probably a little chair. Do we get this exact one though? We can't just take it off the display, right? That's kind of messed up and like immoral. I'm going. As we were trying to steal the chair, we were confronted by an undercover Arby's employee that stopped me from completing my challenge and kicked us out of the building. This is a private property, you cannot take videos. We're actually doing an Ikea review. I'm trying to figure out how many kids get lost in Ikea per I, year. I, I, Apparently it's up to 10,000, did you know that? You wanna squash the beef? No. Can I buy this and leave? Yeah. All right, let's go. Can you take it off and lower it, please? Man, we have 40 minutes. I, I don't wanna hear from you. I just tried to buy this chair, that's all okay. I'm trying to do. Go ahead, start walking. Okay, I'm calling the police. Okay, no, you can call them, it's all good. I'm trying to buy a chair, let's go buy a chair. You're not buying this chair. Okay, fine, I'll leave, I'll you. leave, fine. We need to go, we need to go. Point the camera down, sir. No, don't. Where's the exit at? Point the camera down. You cannot take videos. Well, down is relative. Should we wait for the cops? Sir, please leave right now. You have a good day. Please, please. Can you leave? With a limited amount of time left, we headed to some other stores in hopes of getting a piece of furniture before the sun goes down. I just got kicked out of Ikea because I was allegedly jumping on the furniture. They actually kicked us out. I think they're racially profiling me. No. I'm actually African American. I mean, $125. I'm getting it. We're getting it. If we walk out of this Home Depot and I don't see any sunlight, looks like we have to head to Arby's. How many years have you worked here for? A little over three months. Within your three months of working here, has there ever been a five foot, sorry, has there ever been a six foot two Caucasian male with brown hair, colorful pants, large biceps ever come in here and make you laugh this much. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Okay, we're getting this one. It's a red chair. We got furniture. Let's go. 10,000 likes and I'll leak my debit card number and my pin number. Are you sure there's none of those small chairs in stock? I usually do this, but it's actually for Make-A-Wish and my wish is to get that chair and you guys just denied my wish. Since Heather was so nice to me, unlike the Arby's employee at Ikea, I chose to finish my last task of gratitude by giving her 20 dollars to spend on drugs. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. you. And since you're good to me, here's $20. Thank, Thank you. you. You have a good rest of your day. You too, guys. All right, we'll just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once I completed the challenges at hand, we continued our forward drive to the rendezvous, where in the middle of our journey, we spotted something unusual. Dude, it's the opposition. It says the burger is back on the sign. Fuck 
fuck you and your burger. You see how empty that parking lot is? I believe that Arby's is money laundering or sex trafficking or both. If we don't make it to the destination on time, I'm gonna have to be one of these fucking customers who's going through a divorce and regretting everything they've done in their life. The closer we were getting to our destination, the more I realized that there was less civilization around, which meant that anything could happen to us at any time and nobody would ever know. Which is why I brought my military grade recon drone to surveil the area for any oncoming threats in the vicinity. This thing was worth $20,000, so I guarantee it's gonna deliver us the highest quality it possibly can to show us what enemies lie within those woods. We are ready to investigate. Okay, I'm going forward slowly but surely. We have sights of the location, but I'm not really seeing much. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. My perfect flying skills were quickly ruined by the lack of connection that was in the area, which led to my drone getting stuck in a tree. No way, it's stuck in a tree. Dude, our UAV's done. $20,000 military grade drone got stopped by a simple tree branch. That's not going to deter us from getting to the location because right through those woods could be a rapist, it could be our chance at finishing this video once and for all. We need to hurry because the sun is going down and Arby's is open 24 hours. With the little information that I got from my drone, I had to trust my gut and hop over a highly secured fence and trespass on private property just so I can plant this flag in time so that I wouldn't have to spend my night crying in an Arby's bathroom. That white square that you see on the screen is the location thing is we're gonna have to go into the woods we are gonna pull a Logan Paul and go inside the suicide forest and whatever we see in there we're gonna keep the cameras rolling we're gonna laugh about it everything that we have done up to this moment would have been for nothing if we did not go inside that forest throughout all the hesitation and fear of getting attacked by different animals and diseases I chose to breach through the forest and claim that spot as my own on someone else's property uh yeah Everything I'm doing is illegal, by the way. We have outlined the perimeter and we have found a breaching point. Dude, what was there? What was there? We are a few steps away from completing this challenge and planting this flag. That actually might be poison ivy. Wait, is it actually? Right here. We're on it. We're on it. We did it. Let's go. Let's go. We finally made it. This is the exact spot. Furniture, gratitude, and subscribe. Those are the three words that brought me to this beautiful location to admire the wildlife, to get out of my home. And all needs this flag. That's fucking hard soil. I don't think I can get through that. Three, two, one. As I was planting my flag into the soil, I realized an important life lesson, which is to never be afraid of the fear that surrounds the risk you take. Let's go, dude. I can't be too loud because we're literally on private property and we could get trespassed and go to prison if they know we're here. But we have finally done it, guys. There's bugs in my face. I think I have malaria and media finish every single challenge we're literally in the middle of the fucking woods right now we planted the flag got my furniture i think my car is getting robbed i heard a car alarm because fear is just the amplification of anticipation and that you need to be willing to break the rules at the expense of others in order to become better than them or in other words fuck ikea